Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do a voiceover. So the first thing you're going to do is actually grab a piece of video here, drag it into the timeline, and what I'm going to do is just minimize the audio here so there's no sound whatsoever. But you can leave the audio in or not, up to you. And at this point, what you're going to do is go over to your player here. You'll see this microphone button. You're going to click on that. And uh, bef it won't actually start recording right away, but what I want you to do is go ahead and look at your settings here to make sure it's on the right microphone. So currently I'm recording with my USB microphone and I use a Audio-Technica AT2005 USB. And I'll put a link down in, in the description if you're interested in that one. But uh, for this tutorial, I'll probably end up just grabbing the, the, the sound off of uh, my MacBook Pro's microphone just so they don't interfere with each other because I'm recording the screen as I'm doing it now. So basically what you do is pick the mic you want to record from. And don't forget to do this because uh, you will. And you'll end up getting audio from the source you don't want. So I will actually put the microphone there. And at this point, um, also you can have the volume of it. And I usually talk into the mic and look at where the meter is and make sure it's not overmodulated in the yellow and or the red. But uh, what I would recommend to do is do a couple short, very short, five second, 10 second clips and test to find the volume the way you want it. You can have it mute the project while it's actually recording. And that's what I usually do. And after you have all these settings good to go, then what you're going to do is find where you want your recording to be. And it doesn't really matter too much because you can move it around after the fact, but it's probably a good idea to put it where you're going to be recording. And then you hit that record button and you'll get a three, two, one counter. And then from that point, it'll be recording. So let's go ahead and start it. Okay, and this is a test recording for the video tutorial. Okay, let me go ahead and stop this. So now the voiceover is recorded down here at the bottom. So let me go ahead and make some changes here so I can see the the actual size of the clip. And the cool thing now is the, the audio is recorded, so you can move it around to any part of the video. So what I might recommend is once you find out where you want it to be exactly, if you think you're going to be editing a lot, I would drag it down to the audio bed down here. And now once I do some, let me do some chops here. I'll delete. I'll move this around. It's not really tied to the audio here. But if it's up here in the timeline, um, it needs to be tied to a certain point of the video. So you'll have to drag it around, make your moves, and then drag it back here, you know, wherever you need it to be. So the good thing about this audio bit at the bottom, once you have your recording, your voiceover recorded, is it stays fixed uh, in the timeline itself, and the clips can move around any way you need to be. So depending on what you're actually doing, you can... Um, do it any way you like. So let me go ahead and delete all this and let's start again. So you drag your clip in the timeline. This time I will not mute the audio. I'm going to check my settings to make sure we're, we're good to go. I do have the right mic selected and I have mute project. Okay, I'm going to put my cursor, my line, where I want it to begin. And then I'm going to hit the button to wait for the three count and then I'll start talking. Hey, this is from Shenmue, an old Sega Dreamcast game that you can play on Xbox, PC, or PlayStation. Okay, so now I have my voiceover clip. Another thing you might want to do is highlight the clip, go up to these kind of graph looking thing here, and you can reduce the background noise here. Um, you can also enhance it by going to different settings here. I like to use a music enhance. It bumps up the volume a bit so I do end up dropping it down just a little bit but I do like to do a little noise reduction I usually leave it on 50 and I end up changing this to music enhance but it depends on your voice and the mic you're using um, but you can mess around with that as well okay well that's it that's how you do voiceover and again you can move it around or you can leave it locked in one spot by dropping it down here that way depending on what you do with your clip won't actually interfere with the audio below you can kind of do everything. So up to you. Alrighty. I hope you learned a lot here. I want to thank everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. 
and aloha. <laughs>